everyone, it's Marcy Sauter, the Rusty Blonde. Welcome back to my channel today. As you can tell from this image here, we are going to be doing my October 1st budget. Um, I figured this one, we would kind of just jump right into it instead of me doing an intro and everything. So if you're new here, welcome. I have quite a few budgeting videos. If you want to start from the beginning, you're more than welcome to. But for now, um, this is my planner wallet. We're gonna set that aside. And for now, we're gonna focus on my budget binder and get everything set up to do our cash um, envelope stuffing, okay? So with that being said, this is the classic size happy planner that I use as my budget binder and it's awesome. I'm gonna flip to not September, we are in October and we are going to get started. I'm gonna set this aside. So the first thing I do is I get my calendar and it's blank I, and I date it for the month and then I go through and I write in all of the bills and on the due date that they're due. So, um, and then here I have our paychecks listed so that I know when payday is and things like that. One thing I did do different within the since the last video is my husband and I have a separate checking account and he is going to be depositing um, $610 a paycheck directly into this checking account and we've set it up to where that money, so twice a month, that money will automatically pay for our two credit cards that we're doing the debt snowball on. So that is going to kind of be eliminated from here. You're not gonna see it. I'll probably still write the minimum balance that's due as you see here and here. Um, and these figures are off a little bit. But um, anyways, basically we are paying the minimum payment on our USAA visa and then everything else left from that $1,220 is gonna go towards our visa and we're gonna knock this one out first. Okay, so with that being said, um, I had a question about our mortgage and electricity and everything. That was not mentioned in the last video because it did not affect that paycheck. Um, on this paycheck, however, this is when our SRP is due and our city of Mesa. Now, our house payment, it's the same thing. We have money sent directly from my husband's paycheck to a checking account and it's automatically paid for so that we never have to worry and our mortgage is always paid no matter what. There's no forgetting, there's no being on vacation. It is automatically set up that way. So it basically, we never see it. I just go on and make sure that the payment went through. So um, anyways, with that being said, we're gonna go ahead and start filling out um, our October budget sheets. For those of you new here, I have an Etsy shop. It's called Rusty Blonde Digitals, and I will link it down below. But basically, I made these printouts and this is what I use to budget. And it's great. I've been using it, what, since I started this binder. So I've been doing it for a lot longer than I started filming. So, um, but it's been great and it's fantastic and it works. And some people have purchased it. They're not very expensive. I think they're $4.95 for the bundle. Um, but anyways, you, you're welcome to look at it or you're welcome to create your own off and you know off of the template I'm using here. So the first thing I have is my lifestyle cash list. This is our cash budget. All of our living expenses that we pay for in cash is listed here and it's broken up by the month and then bi-weekly since we only go, I only go to the ATM on my husband's two paychecks. That's when we go, we pull $720 and then we divide it into our lifestyle cash envelopes, which is in my wallet here. So for commissions, we pay monthly. I'm just gonna say the monthly amount because then you'll know what the bi-weekly is. But monthly is 160 for food, 500, Costco and Sam's Club, 100. Household items is 40 a month. Animal care is 160. This doubled because um, 
one of our dogs has to be on a prescription medication now. So that um, amount went up. The other thing I, I bumped up a little bit is clothing and shoes because I just realized, I think it was 80 that we were doing before. It just wasn't cutting it. So I bumped that up a hair to 120 a month. Personal care and beauty, I also bumped this up to 160. I think it also doubled. That's because I now get, since I started working at Starbucks, I get my eyelashes done and I take my kids to get haircuts instead of me doing it myself. And then this is also for, um, you know, beauty products, shampoo, my makeup and things like that. Then under that I have gifts. I have a very large family and I love having money to be able to buy birthday gifts for them. So we budget $80 a month there. Ian gets $40 to do what he wants with. I get $40 to do what I want with. And then we have um, coffee therapy, which I'm not doing this anymore ever since COVID and everything. Um, it's kind of cut back. And then here you guys, it's just way too damn hot to sit out in the parking lot and do what we do. But maybe we'll pick that up in the winter again. I don't know. But um, the other thing is our family fun. We, we budget just $40 a month. Um, and that's for if we want to do a late night run to get ice cream or a late pizza night, whatever, like just spontaneously or whatever. Take the kids to a movie, which we can't even do that for $40, but I'll explain that later. And then date night, we, um, we are pretty much at home. My husband and I run errands together when we need to, so we do get our little dates here and there. It just, we don't designate a certain fund for date night because... We use whatever, either his fun, my fun, we pull it from the debit card, anything like that. So basically that comes down to we pay bi-weekly, actually on the 15th and the 30th, we pull 720 to live off of for the next couple weeks. So the next step is after, after you have your calendar filled out with all of your bills and the due dates, you have your lifestyle cash list, you're gonna to go to these forms. And this is the bill pay checklist. And I forgot, I think last month I did the checklist for the 30, I don't even know, but I think I screwed up one <laughs> on the last one. But basically our first paycheck is our 30th paycheck, the one at the end of the month. And that's because it goes through on the 30th, but it's covering all of the bills from the 30th through the 15th of the month. So it's considered our first paycheck. So the next thing I do is I kind of go off of my calendar and I write what bills are gonna be paid. Now I've been doing this a long time and I always have a little cheat sheet. So I'm just gonna go into filling this out. So the first thing we have coming out is EOS, which is my husband and son's gym membership. And then we have Amazon Music, which is only $5. But you guys, anything that's automatically coming out of your account, I don't care if it's $2 a month, you have to budget it in there or else it just gets missed or something. So Cricut, I bought a mini Cricut and I love it and I do pay the $10 a month for that. Then our city of Mesa, I looked that up and our bill that's coming out very soon is $193 this month. Next, we have our Cox bill, which we had to up some things um, with our internet. So we now pay 132 instead of, I think it was like 101 or $102. But it was worth it to us um, because of the amount of devices we have and for me uploading and doing all the stuff I do for YouTube. And my husband works from home all day long. So anyways, it, we just needed to make that change. So then we have Apple, which this is um, our family, Apple Music and Storage. I can't remember which is which, but basically I have two payments. The $17 payment comes out on this paycheck. Next we have SRP, and SRP this month is $238. So that will be coming out. And I haven't been putting the due dates. I guess I can, 13th. I normally do, so 13th. Um, Cox comes out on the 4th. 
City of Mesa. When does City of Mesa come out? On the first. EOS is on the first. Amazon Music on the seventh. And then my Cricut on the sixth. Okay, so now I have which bill it is, the amount that's going to come out, and then on the due date. Now, the other thing I do, you guys, I, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned this in my other budgeting videos, but all of my bills are set up to be automatically paid. I never have to worry about something being missed or late or forgotten about because you're on vacation or just busy with life. It is all set up and automatically deducted. And I tell you what, it's awesome. If you have not done that, it is such a stress reliever because then you're just working the figures instead of having lists of when you have to go in and pay it and all of that. Okay, the other couple things I did different. Um, we, since working at Starbucks, I do, we do spend money there. So, and then the other thing I have not been mentioning, just because I don't like talking about it, but it is a, it is a bill now because my husband was always making our juice for our vaping habit, which is a very bad habit, but um, we were smokers for a really long time, so it has really helped us kick that habit. But basically, we had to come up with a coffee and vaping budget because we now have to buy our juice instead of my husband making it. And so that, that changed things. And with the amount, you know, like I get bring coffee home randomly, even though we get a free coffee and free food item every day. And while I'm at work, I get free beverages. Um, you know, my husband, Sometimes he likes their nitro or he likes a glass of tea. My kids, I'll pick them up a treat here and there. So we decided to just make this a permanent bill of $110, a paycheck, okay? So you're gonna see this one and this next one on every single bill pay that we do. So that means, yes, that means we are spending $220 a month between vaping and coffee. Okay, I know, I know you guys, it's terrible, but it is what it is and I have to budget for it. And I, I didn't want to not put it here just because I'm worried about, you know, what someone might think or anything. This is the reality of the habit we have, coffee and vaping. I love them both. I, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> but anyways, so this is just ongoing. And then the next one is I have, I always keep a $200 cushion in our, in our account for each paycheck, but I was never budgeting that in. Well, it's like a light bulb went off and now, and also because of Christmas, we decided to up our Christmas budget this year since I started working as well. Um, we were able to do what we wanted to do originally without stressing about it. So the other thing is, this is the other reason why we started putting this in here, because then I know exactly how much we have left over between my husband's paycheck, all of our bills, including our habits and a $200 cushion. We know exactly how much I have left to do for Christmas or put towards a hunting trip or things like that. Okay, so the total of this comes to $915, okay? So that is all of these bills here, that total there. The next thing I'm going to do with this paycheck is I told you guys, I can't remember when I told you, whether it was the last budgeting video or the one before, I can't even, you guys, my brain goes a million miles an hour, but, um, we had to drain our savings, not just our emergency fund, but all of our sinking fund money. Um, I had to use, I had a thousand dollars saved for a Disneyland trip. We had to use that. And then all of a sudden, after we had done everything, we had 
the last thing hit, which was our water heater. And two and a half weeks ago, our water heater went out and we did not have cash to pay for it. My husband had to, for the first time in almost a year, he had to take his credit card, go buy the water heater. So because it was it happened like four or five days before we got paid, you guys. But that is just what happened. So my husband put it on the credit card. And then five days later, when we got that paycheck, I paid $400 off with that paycheck. And then now we are two weeks later from that paycheck. And we are going to be putting, um, paying that off, which was just under $299. So that is getting paid off. It's already been paid, actually. It'll be taken out today. I just set that up before. Okay, so there is our Amex payment, which I put as our unexpected. And then the ATM, this is our 720 we take each month. And then our gas allowance, since working, our gas has kind of doubled. And like last paycheck, I had to gas up all three vehicles. So, or my, the truck, the van, and then my husband's little buzz around town vehicle. But um, anyways, and we used every bit of that, okay? And in fact, yesterday I had to put $30 in the van, um, which again, we that's why we have this little miscellaneous debit there. Um, but I don't think I need to up it yet. We're gonna try it again for two more weeks and see if this 150 is a good figure for gas. So anyways, with all of that being said, I think um, extra income, we're not counting that. I'm gonna show you, this is all, this is all about my Louis Vuitton fund and um, my husband's Chevelle fund because you guys, we've been almost married 17 years. I think it, geez, I think it's almost 17 years. And every time we try and put money aside for his Chevelle, it gets put on the back burner because life gets in the way. You choose to get married, you choose to have kids. You know, we made the choice for me to be a stay-at-home mom. It just got put on the back burner. Well, now between him getting the promotion, working at home, me getting a job at Starbucks, we are still trying to get out of debt, but we figured there is no reason why we can't budget that in for him now. So that is, why I no longer put any extra income here. But that'll be in another video when I talk about how I saved for my Louis Vuitton bag. But okay, so next, after you fill that out, I put my trackers here and I always tend to have two pages. Um, sometimes I don't, but most of the time I do. So I put two pages there and then I set it up for the second paycheck, which will happen on the 15th. And same thing, I put the bill pay checklist there and my um and the expense trackers there so with that being said all of my bills are automatically going to be paid i know exactly what our amount is that i have to use for some christmas gifts or my husband's hunting fund which you saw i put in there now moving on this is where i take our lifestyle cash list and i set it up here so that I can look at it and we get to stuff all of our cash envelopes. Um, for those of you who don't know, this is my wallet system. It is a cash budgeting wallet. This is actually the MM Agenda from Louis Vuitton. It was my first authentic piece and I freaking love it, you guys. I also do videos on this. So right after I do this budgeting video, I'm going to be redecorating my planner and doing that for October. Okay, so moving on, we're going to separate our money. So I want to tell you though, so normally we take out 720, but I placed an online food pickup order at Fry's. So, and it was $58 and change. So I only took out 660 because that, um, that $60 I've already spent, so I removed it. And this, the ATM I went to did not have the option to give $100 bills. So I'm gonna make sure you can see that. So I'll just stick that stack of 20s there. 
tens and fives. Okay, and so we're gonna start with groceries in Costco. My grocery budget for two weeks is 250. So 250, but then I took away 60, so $190. Okay, so here's my 190 that I'm gonna put in my food budget. And today um, is 10, one, we're gonna write deposit. And then I'm gonna put a plus 190. So my balance in here is 190. You guys, last the last, time I did this I put 300 in here for my food and Costco budget I went to Costco and I spent $300 yeah crazy so I actually had to use my debit card a couple times to go to fries to get our fresh you know fresh fruits and veggies a couple times that was crazy but it's because I hadn't gone in like a month we were out of like all of our snacks and everything okay so moving on then we have um, our food, which gets 50. So 20, 40, and I'm gonna pull this 10 out and just pull another 20. Oh my gosh, can't get in my envelope. And for those of you who don't know, I made these envelopes and I totally have a video on how I created them. I had originally purchased top loading envelopes through Amazon but I preferred the side loading. So now I'm going to put 10, one deposit. Um, 50. So then I take my calendar and I'll add 50. So $240 is what I have for food for the next two weeks. And I'm gonna try really hard to stay within that budget. Okay, moving on to household. Household gets, what does it get? $20. And I have not used household in a while. I haven't needed anything. So this is building up, which is nice. So 10, one, deposit, plus 20. And so I have $80 in my household budget. Okay, next is pets. I have 140 left because on that Costco trip, I bought them a fresh bag of dog food. So today for this deposit, we are going to add, what is it? I think it's 80 now. Yep, $80. So we have 140 plus 80, that's 220. This is going to go down too because I, they have a groomer's appointment coming up. I can't remember if it's in two or three weeks, but. Okay, so now we have 220 in our pets. Then the beauty fund. This is empty because I just did my eyelashes just now. Just got home from doing that. So now, um, so 10, one. Personal and beauty gets 80. So let me just write it here. Deposit plus 80. Balance is 80. So 20, 40, 60, 80. Okay, next is clothing. Clothing, I deposit 60. So 10, one, deposit 60. Now, if you guys are wondering how you come up with all of the figures for each category, what I did, you can either take a month, so like for clothing and shoes, what I did is I thought back to approximately how much I spend on my kids per season, or if you buy every season, so four times a year or three times a year, whatever that is, 
and however much you roughly spend on each of them, I kind of take that, I add it all together, I take that total, and then I divide it. And so I kind of get a rough estimate of how much I need for clothing. Because my husband and I, I buy clothes probably a couple times a year, and it's not all at once. This year was an exception because I got a job at Starbucks, and I had to get clothing that fits within their um, uniform standards. But um, normally it's just, replacing things as we need to we're picking up a sweater you know for the new season whatever it's nothing crazy but um so that's why we figured 60 dollars i think for a long time i was doing 40 or 50 and that just wasn't cutting it so we upped it to 60 a paycheck which has been much better so 20 40 60 into clothing okay Commissions, this is what we pay our kids, and I pay them 80. So I'm gonna kind of break that up. So 20, how many fives do I have? Okay, so I'll do this. 30, 40, 60, 80. And their envelope, I no longer, sorry, I just hit the table. But I no longer keep the commissions in here because my kids like to budget once every couple months now because they get way more money at a time. So I keep this envelope separate. So that I'm not carrying around all of their budget money. It's not necessary. Okay, so I forgot I need to fill this out. So, and we had, I think this was 120, not, I just counted it. It was 120 in there. Okay, so today is 10, one, deposit, um, 80. Oops, not eight, 80. So now I know, Oh my God, this is a mess. See, this is one I'm totally going to redo. What a mess that is. I can't handle that, you guys. But for now, I'm not going to waste time now. But just know that I will probably go back and fix this sheet because clearly my brain is not attached. <laughs> but okay, moving on. So gifts. Gifts receives um forty dollars so i like to do a 20 and four fives and this is because i like to give 25 dollars when i give cash so i'm going to add that there so 60 and the 40. okay so 10 one deposit plus 40 so there's a hundred dollars back in our gifts we had three or I did three I shopped for three people this month so okay last but not least is family fun which I 20 goes in there Ten one deposit I always, we always spend the family fun. Oh my gosh, we took our kids to see, have you guys seen the 10 rings? Shang-Chi or Shang-Chi, the 10 rings? Oh my God, it was so good, you guys. We freaking loved it. So fun and entertaining and just really cool. And oh my gosh, she is hilarious. She makes the movie. I can't remember her name, but you'll know her when, when you see the movie. So then I get 20 in mine. Huh, no, I spent mine. I forgot to mark that out. So my balance is 20. Okay, and then, so 20 for me, and then 20 for the hubby, for him to do whatever he wants with, okay? You guys, so that is everything. That is how I budget. Um, I'm I'm excited to see how it works with our 
credit cards being just totally automatically paid in a separate account so I'm not constantly having anxiety over the payments and the amounts and all of that. But um, we'll see how it goes. And then, so the next video is going to be my October planner wallet setup, and I'm super excited about that. So, sorry this video was a bit longer. I just, that's part of the reason why I cut out my, whatever, my two minute intro or whatever. But um, anyways, this is it, you guys. This is how I do it. It works if you follow the system, it really works. And if you guys have any questions, leave a comment down below and I will link what items I can, like my Etsy shop, um, where you can find Happy Planner and stuff down below. I don't know if there's anything to link on this video, but oh well. So um, know that I have a planner, wallet, decorating list, a budgeting list, video playlist, and everything. So you should be able to watch some videos and get some answers questions answered. If not, I'd be glad to help. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you on my next video. Bye.